Anna Maria. We are studying the grade 8 at Excel Public School, Purgali, Mysore. The theme we have chosen is Explore Space, Gaming Technology. A problem statement is to develop games that inform about space or planets. The 21st century has brought us technology which we never dreamt of. We have made huge strides in many areas such as travel, communication, food production, etc. The step for us is also the final frontier, space. And the current generation of students are the ones who will be spearheading humanity's quest to find new homes outside Earth. Can we use the lessons learned to Earth to build a habitat on another planet or moon? It is definitely possible. It is also possible to terraform or convert a planet or moon into a land which we can support human life. The smallest forms of life on Earth can support us in these microbes. Extremophiles are, my, are microbes that live in conditions that cannot support human life such as volcanoes, glaciers, acidic soils, saline conditions in conditions without oxygen. Some extremophiles can not only survive in harsh conditions but also perform functions that are useful to humankind. We decide to design a game that will allow students to learn the basics of extremophiles and how they can help a settlement. The game was conceptualized by the team and the required parameters were listed. It was decided to create a game that can be used by students who are trying to study about microbes corresponding to grade 8 CBSE. We decided on not using the names of actual organisms or celestial bodies, as that would increase the complexity of the topic. Instead, we decided to color code the properties of the extremophiles. The conditions at which the extremophiles can survive is indicated by the color of the petri dish. The property of the extremophile is indicated by the color of the stain. The simulation in this game has a space settlement with a number of stations. The landscape has a catered texture and there are elements such as spaceport and astronaut in the bag. The game has a countdown timer and a status bar to indicate whether the settlement is functioning properly. The the student clicks the sensors placed at different points to ascertain the type of planet or moon they are on. A radiation sensor, pH sensor and thermometer are available for the student to decide what type of extremophile is ideal for the settlement. Sensors are placed on each part of the settlement. The student clicks on each one to determine the problems. The student then uses the tablet to check the color of the petri dish and stain that corresponds to the extremophile to be used to resolve the problems. The student drags the petri dish to the settlement. If the petri dish or stain combination is correct, the status bar shows an increase. When all the problems are resolved, the game progresses to the next settlement. We designed the game using HTML5 and tested it with our peers. All of us worked on the design and programming of the game. We hope that this game can be used both at our school and throughout the nation and help our peers learn about extremophiles and their uses. Thank you.